Hi everyone and welcome to another Playmaker and Unity tutorial. Um, this is a tutorial for a fan request question and on the screen you'll see it is from the Pixel Leto Media. And he asked, could you make a tutorial on how to spawn a random number of enemies if the player is in the designated area? So I'm going to show you how to do that. So this is our FPS system that we've been creating in our um, tutorial series, uh, the simple FPS system. And I, all I've done is I've just created some walls and placed the enemy behind here so we won't see him spawn. So I'm going to show you how to create a random number. So what we want to do is create a couple of spawn points um, back here for the enemies um, to randomly spawn at. So let's just come in and create an empty object and you'll see it's just this empty vector position. So let's just drag this guy around and we want to position them roughly in this area. So let's make one, I'm going to rename it, we'll rename this guy to spawn point one and let's just duplicate that and move this guy over and we'll rename him to two. So that this is just the basic system so that way um, you guys understand how it works and three and four so we've got one two three so make this one three and make this guy four and that way um, we can manage it a bit easier alrighty so now if we highlight them all that way you can see we've got this one we've got that one so that way we can reference either one of these positions to create a random enemy. So now we need something for the player to trigger the, um, the spawn point. So you'll see if we run through, let's run through, this guy's going to see me. This is the AI system that we made last time. And he'll um, start to follow me. So that's cool. The only reason why it wasn't moving is that we have to um, rebake the navigation so and this is important if you if you're using a nav um, agent like in our last tutorial so now you'll see that he's um, he can walk through here and he can navigate his way around this map so now if we press play again um, it will run up and you'll notice that once we go around the corner he'll move towards me now there we go so it's always important to rebake your navigation meshes so now what we want is to when we walk through here we want there to be an invisible trigger that will manage the spawn um, system to create a random number of enemies behind the wall. So that every time you play the game, it will be a different amount of enemies. So let's do that right now. So let's go back to our inspector and we want to create a empty cube. So let's just drag this guy into the space and we want it to take up the whole space so the player can't sneak around. So let's just make it this big. Perfect. So you'll, you'll notice that we have the full cube um, taking up the whole whole room and we want to turn off, off the mesh renderer and this is really important. You want to make sure it says is trigger because the player will be triggering this object. Perfect. And we're going to call this trigger event. Uh, we'll call it trigger event spawn enemies. That way we, we know what's triggering. Perfect. Now we want to go to our make a new FSM on the box. I'm going to call this trigger spawn. And let's just drag in our thing. It just popped off the screen when I clicked edit. And we're going to say uh, on trigger, or which we'll actually we don't even need that, we'll just call it idle for the moment. And then in add transition, there's a special one for um, a system event and on trigger, trigger enter. So let's, um, let's create a new action trigger event. Actually, we don't even need, we don't even need this one. Um, these, um, system events are really good for, um, if you have a lot of objects and lots of things are passing through. So pretty much any object that passes through will trigger that. However, if you use this special trigger event, we can just say to only trigger when the player's tag goes through, which we've set up on our on our um, 
on it, the actual player model, as you can see in our in this player tag. So that is important there. So let's go back to our FSM. And we're on the trigger, on the player going through the trigger, we're going to say um, to spawn enemies. Add that transition. Oop, I read it. To spawn enemy. And let's drag that one down to here. And we're going to say um, decide random amount. Random amount. Perfect. And we're going to create a float that says, oh, actually, we'll do it a different way. This way um, will be a bit um, easier. So we'll go random event. Nope, that's not the one. Good throw one. Uh, send random event. So this is the one we want. So as you can imagine, this one will have three different um, things that could happen. Or actually four, since there's four spawn points. And we're going to call, we're going to make four different events. We're going to make one, two, three, and four. And then let's pop these in order down here. Three and four, and you want to make each one around 0.2. That will give it a good chance of each one running. Because this is the weight, the, the weight is pretty much the, the odds of it happening. So if one was one, this one would always win. If this was zero, it's not going to happen. So make sure each one's around 0.2. And on that thing, we're going to have to add each of these to our system. And transitions. So now we have one, two, three, and four, which kind of correlates to our one, two, three, and four spawn points that we have. So now what we want to do is create a new one. We'll just call this one enemy. We've got one enemy to one. And this is where we'll just say create object. And then we're going to drag in spawn point one, spawn point one. And then make sure um, when you're doing this, you've created a prefab for whatever object you want to spawn in. So I've um, what, how you create your prefab is you go create prefab, and I just called mine enemy. And then all you do is you drag the object down into it, and that creates this little prefab for you to use. So let me just delete this guy. This that's fine. Okay, now let me jump back to here. So we're going to spawn our enemy at spawn point one. Now, as you can imagine, now we can just go copy and paste. So we're going to call this two enemies. And let's copy and paste this guy. So now we have two, except the second spawn point will be spawned at spawn point two. And spawn two then. And let's just bring this one down. So that's three. We'll call this three enemies. and copy and paste this guy and we're going to spawn this guy at spawn point three and hook up three and last one we're going to copy and paste this one and make make this guy four enemies hook up four and copy and paste the spawn point and put that in there so now you notice will be idle until the player sends the event to spawn the enemy. So once we enter this trigger, it will trigger it, decide a random amount of enemies, and it will send an event to either one, two, three, or four. And then it will either spawn one enemy, two enemies, three enemies, or four enemies. And then that's pretty much it. So let's give the system a little try and see if there's any bugs in it. So if I turn on gizmos, this way you can see the the spawn point um, box or the trigger box. So let's go into it. You'll notice three popped up. And look, now we have three enemies. So that time it spawned three guys. So let's go out of it and let's go back in. Let's see if it spawns a different random number. So let's go in. This time it looks like four. So this time we have four guys. And what I can even do is let's, let's just jump back um, behind here and let's just move these um, spawn points. Let's offset them so that way um, it looks a bit um, different. 
That looks good. All right, let's just replay this now. Alrighty, so this time four spawned again. So it's good. Let's try and get let's try and um, get the system to spawn one because it's random. It's always going to pick a random number, so it's kind of so what's this one? It's four again. So let's come into here. Let's just drop. Let's drop them all to zero point one. Well, technically, if there's four. There's two, four, six, eight. So really, you'd want it like two point two point five almost. So it's a, it's an even number. So there's an even chance of it happening. So let's just see what happens now. So yeah, this time there's only two. So if you want more, if you want a chance of more um, guys spawning, you can always just. Um, change these the random indicator so you kind of favor one side more than the other but yeah that's that's essentially the um, the easiest way to, to do that system now you'll notice that um, when I'm shooting um, through this box um, the bullets are actually disappearing as soon as they hit my invisible box I've set up now we want to um, might want to do something so let's go up to our layer and move this to ignore raycast and let's jump back in and then this time there you go now the bullets will fly all the way through and our guys the enemies should now be able to follow us at look this time we had three so let's jump back around here and then you'll notice that these guys oh they probably lost visual there we go come on come on guys so now you'll notice these guys will be able to follow me through because um, the, the ray cast block is gone and that's how these guys um, work. They shoot little, they shoot these rays. Um, see the, um, these little gray rays, that's how they can see where I am, which we um, we set up in the, the previous tutorials. So yeah, that's a, that's a very basic look at how to create a random um, spawn system. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And if you have any more requests, um, please leave them on my um, channel and or leave them in the comments or send me a message, either one, I'll, I'll get them. And I will get to them as soon as I can. But for now, it's been Kieran Oversapien for Filmstorm Studios. And I'll see you guys in the next video.